and welcome to the Natural Curiosity Show. I'm Marian LaSalle, and I'm really glad that you're here. Today I have a special guest that's going to be popping in in a minute. Her name is Lady Lou, and I'll introduce you as soon as she pops her head in. She will. She'll be here in a minute. So anyway, I just wanted to give a shout out to my friend because she does so much for me, and she does so much for other people. I can't wait for you to meet her. If you haven't already, you're going to be delighted. This lady is the queen of networking and the queen of friendship. <laughs> I love it. There she is. She just popped in. Hi, Lady Lou. Hi, Marion. How are you doing today? Oh, wonderful. Beautiful day today and hot, of course. But other than that, it's a great day to be alive. See, didn't I tell you? You're going to love her. So this is my friend. We've been friends for years and years and years. I can't even tell you how many now. I've tried to keep track, but who knows? 15, maybe 15 years or so? At least. Yes. Yeah. I said, we're so much alike. Some people think we're sisters. <laughs> That's true. Somebody was telling us earlier, we're both in a mastermind, and somebody was telling us earlier today that they thought that my business partner was my husband. And they were interested in him, and they said they had conflicting feelings. And I was like, we never corrected anybody. We knew that people thought we were married, but, you know, we were just friends. Take my word for it. But isn't that funny? Oh, that, I loved it. That was yeah. a good story. It was, wasn't it? Uh-huh. Conflicted feelings. And she was my friend, and she had feelings for this husband of mine. <laughs> So anyway, I was just uh, giving my friend Lady Lou here a shout out. She has been a friend for a long time. And the first time I met her, she was wearing a crown on her head. And she had a big spider on the back of her blouse. And so I thought, wow, what an interesting lady. What's going on over there? So I went over and introduced myself. And we've been best friends ever since. So uh, my shout out today is because Lady Lou is designing her own mastermind group and her own community. And I just thought it was so good. I wanted to share it with you in case you wanted to get in on the start. So tell us a little bit about it. What's the name of this uh, new group that you're forming? Well, it's just the Baby Boomer Babes family, community, whatever you want to call it. But it is a community because we intend to bond. I have found that when people meet each other, especially through the computer, you learn to know them as if you're sitting right next to them. It's the most amazing thing. And we bond. Marion and I are on several different fun uh, meetings, if you will, on Zoom. And all of the people on those things have become best friends virtually. That's true. We're in a book study together where we, uh, we study books that are um, all kinds of, uh, what would you call them? topics of, of all kinds yeah it, mind expansion and spirituality and you know all kinds of brain health I mean you name it we study all kinds of wonderful books and she's right we've become friends with these people no matter where they are there's one lady that's in uh the middle middle of Texas oh Lauren's in Mesquite Mesquite Texas there you yeah, go near anyway Texas. near Dallas I should say yeah it doesn't yeah. matter where people are, we're, 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 we're together. And her, so she, uh, she's in my mastermind, and now I'm in her mastermind, which I think is really cool. And the reason I joined it is because it's for seniors that are active. Yes. You know? And so tell us a little bit more about it. Well, the truth is, when I say active, it means you've got your mind on, you want to learn something, you want to greet people, you want to become more than you are. You don't want to sit in a rocking chair and watch daytime television. Oh, and well, we could do that too, can't we? Well, they can, but let's don't do too much of it. Let's get up and go and do something, even if it's just watching each other on a video like this, because you're interacting, you're getting stimulation, you're, you're bonding. It's all kinds of fun things. And then you're probably going to say, well, if I can do that virtually, why can't I go to a meeting, a, a club meeting, a garden club? club, a, a church group of some sort. Get out there and rub elbows. 
We want you to know people and to, and to interact with them. That's part of being active. I'm not talking about going doing exercises and all that. You can do that on your own. Well, we can tell you don't like exercise the way you said that <laughs> word, exercise. <laughs> no, I, I don't. That's funny. I don't go to gyms. I, I'm on five and a half acres. I have all the exercise I need taking care of this place. Mm -hmm. Bending and pulling and lugging and toting and uh, walking uphill. <laughs> so I get my exercise outside. I don't want to do it in a gym. Maybe when I get older, <laughs> but not right now. But I want the active seniors to come and join us to contribute. We want you to contribute to what we're doing on our mastermind, not just sit there and listen. So that's, that's what I'm getting. And we're going to have fun things to do. There'll be some trainings, different things. That I, the first one, oh, Marion doesn't even know what the first mastermind is. Oh, you're not supposed to share. Remember you said it was going to be a secret. <laughs> a secret. And it's going to be helping something that will help you know more who you are. Even when we're seniors, we can grow in mind and body and spirit that's what our mastermind will be thanks and if they want more information about it how do they get a hold of you well they can uh, email me um <laughs> lady lou at the baby boomer babe.com or they can go over to patreon p-a-t-r-e-o-n.com forward slash the baby boomer babe and that's where you can find all the different levels to join. And that's where the mastermind is. It's only $10 a month. Thanks so much for sharing your new mastermind group. I was the second person to join. I wanted to be the first, but she beat me to it. I want you to be the third. So remind us one more time how we become a member. Is it your Patreon? Yes, the yes, patreon.com okay. slash the baby boomer babe. Fantastic. Thank you. And I know it's very reasonably priced. It's only $10 a month. That yes. is awesome. Okay. So I have a quote for you. As you know, I love my quotes. And I found one that I really, really like. And it's by Lucius Seneca. And I'll put that down here. The greatest remedy for anger is delay. Uh -huh. Louise, have you ever been so angry that you said something you shouldn't or you gave them a look that you shouldn't or you shook your finger at somebody? Mm, you have, haven't you? We Me all too. have. Me too. If we just wait a while, if we sleep on it or we um, just even wait just a few minutes, it just dissipates so much that you can talk about it without being coming at them in, in anger. And I find that that is the best way to handle it. Yeah, it's kind of like the old adage that if you have a balloon puffed up, which will be the anger, and you poke it with a pin, it explodes. So that's what happens when I'm too angry, I explode. But if I have that same balloon and I just let the air out of the little nozzle, it just goes down and the, the anger is released naturally versus being explosive oh nobody likes an explosive angry woman <laughs> <laughs> it reminds me of that uh, that show tawanda and she's banging her car you know i have more insurance than you do because i'm older than you and she's banging their car did you see that yeah yeah that was good. That was good. Oh, did you did you do the quote? Did you tell us the quote again? I did. I sure will. The greatest remedy for anger is delay. Delay. It's delay. Just delay it even for a minute. Yeah. Because you don't want to have to try to pull those words back in. And you'll be apologizing for the angry looks that you gave somebody or, or just, you know, just, just calm down for a few minutes. Okay? Very good, yeah. Marion. Yeah. yeah, that made me feel good when I read it, so I knew you would like it. Yeah. There's one other thing I want to do before we call it a day, and that is to share something that I learned on a podcast that I listened to. Believe it or not, it's a book study, just like Lady Lou and I do every Monday night. We have our own book study, but this is one I listen to on a podcast on unity.fm or unity.online. Oh. 
And it's a, a book study that is from all over the world. There's people from Australia and you name it, and they all chime in about the, about the chapters that they've read. This book happens to be by Dr. Joe Dispenza, and I really love it. This is what we learned. Just for a minute, it only takes about five seconds. Take your right hand, take a nice deep breath in, and just place it on your heart. No matter what's going on, that will release some beautiful endorphins and it will make you just feel so good. Try it and let me know how it works for you. Isn't it beautiful? So we're calling that the heart-centered moment. One more time. Feels so good. Feels so good. And we all need to feel good sometimes. We're having a rough day or the first thing in the morning or before we go to bed and you just want to relax. Feels really good. And Lady Lou, I just have to tell you, I just love your background. I love the be happy sign and your flowers and your backyard. That is awesome. Oh, thank you. Yes, yes. Thank you. I have fun with it. Yes. Yeah. Well, well I, I wanted to add one thing about that heart-centered moment. I told myself that I love me. Oh. It's it. I don't remember when the last time was. I told myself I love me. I tell Marion I love her. My girlfriends, my cat. I tell everybody I love them. I forget to tell me I love me. You might want to add that too, because you're lovable. There you go. You heard it from Lady Lou. You're lovable. I love you. I love Lady, you. Lady Lou loves you, and now you can love yourself. Perfect. I want you to join us. This is a wonderful treat for me. I'm coming to you whenever I feel like it. I don't have a schedule. I just want to share some of the cool things that are going on in my life. I'd love for you to share some of the cool things that are going on in your life. And I give a shout out to something or someone that's doing something special. So if you have something in your life that you want to share, contact me. I would love to highlight them as well. So come back again, and we'll see you on the next video. Thanks again. Bye for now. Love you.